I mean, I mean half a litre of water to over a kilo of honey. And then this will obviously be topped up to the five litre mark. Mixing the honey must for a while, sort of knocking it back and forth on itself, straight one way, straight the other, to encourage, encourage some oxygenation. Um, at the minute, I'm just at about three and a half litre mark, so two and a half litre mark. Let's read it right. Um, but uh, while the camera was off, I decided to add 400 mils of uh, the clear apple juice to it. I've settled on a bit of lemon in there, and um, I drew off. 100 mils of the uh, the mead must, and to that I added a one mil um, of lemon essence, lemon flavouring, natural flavouring, lovely stuff. And given a 100 to 1 dilution ratio, so I sort of rather than sat and work it out, I was happy with what I did. Actually, I did that was the first first go. Um, even if the flavours don't remain that strong, um, I'm hoping that the smell of the lemon at least will. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to thinly cut up into chunks this guy. He'll go into the, uh, the fermenter or the, the demi jar, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> a whole lot of ferment together, hopefully maintaining that lemony um, smell and, and, and flavour. Just going to keep oxygenating this, bring this to the right temperature for pitching the yeast. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a mix up, the yeast starter. Then I'm going to split that between the two fermenters. Um, then I'll transfer this light summer mead must into one. Then I'll get cracking on the 2012 mead. And then we can transfer that into the fermenter when it's ready and we're good to go. Because I don't want to end up with an hour long video on making some simple mead uh, with steps I could just cut through. So I'm going to cut off again, give the yeast another shake up. Let it stand for another couple of minutes. See if we get any life out of it. Um, and then we'll divide it amongst the two fermenters. Top this guy off, get him in the fermenter with the yeast, and get the airlock on, and start on the next, on the uh, 2012 mead. Which is the one I'm obviously looking forward to the most, because I'm going to play about a bit with that guy. Started on the, uh, the 2012 Doomsday Mead. Um, all I've done, half a litre of um, warm water. Poured out the jars of honey into there. Rinse that um, there. Rinse them out. Put that in there. Um, four jars of Tesco Clear Honey. Two, two jars of Tesco's finest orange blossom honey. And I'm mixing that around for a few minutes. Um, I've transferred the summer mead into the fermenter, although I've not completely topped it off yet. Um, and I've also cut up the lemon into chunks and I've dropped that in there. There is some some foam appearing around the ridges and around the top. Um, and I've got to take a gravity reading off that. Which I'll do once I've topped it off a little. Uh, I just want to see how it responds over the next hour, really. So, this I'm just mixing 
paste around. I'm going to say it smells absolutely fantastic with the orange blossom on it. Um, absolutely wonderful. This much, I can say, it, honeyer <laughs> than the others. Um, I'll probably add. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. When I put it in the fermenter, I'm going to let it ferment and rest on top of the remaining 250 grams um, of California seed with raisins because hopefully it'll take on some more like darker colour. I mean, I can already see that it's that it's quite quite a few shades darker than the summer lighter mead, which is what I'd hoped for. Um, a light flavoured mead, and um, I really want a light colour um, and obviously a more richer fuller mead, I wanted a darker colour. I'm going to add the rest of the, the apple juice, um, but what I want to do um, is I want to add the same amount as I added to the summer. It's 400 mils of apple juice on concentrate. Again, there'll be fermentable sugars in that to some degree. I have to think the gravity of this fella. That's really going to make it smell a lot like amaretto. <laughs> a lot like amaretto. So I think in a five litre batch. I'm only going to put about one. And a half to well, one and a quarter capfuls. And we'll get our swoosh around. So I'm just gonna just a little experiment. Get a little solution together. I mean, this will by no means um, give you an idea of what's going to appear at the end of the fermentation, but everything changes. But that is good. That is very, 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 very good. I'm probably going to go with about half a litre of the pineapple. And I was a bit apprehensive about adding the pineapple juice uh, on top of the apple juice and the raisins, but at the end of the day, if you don't experiment, you don't know. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm going to stick with that. I'm just going to dilute it down a bit with some some water to even it out. I'll transfer it over. Drop the necessary ingredients into the fermenter which is the vanilla pod and um, the raisins. Um, I'm going to get a gravity reading off that and off this. Um, and then it's over to the fermenting cupboard and we're done.